Located in Palampur, the Institute of Himalayan Bioresource Technology is the only laboratory of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Established in 1983, the Institute epitomizes how science, technology and innovation can transform the lives of many. The Institute has state-of-the-art laboratories, internationally recognized herbarium, pilot plants in nutraceuticals, essential oil and herbals, and many other facilities that have transformed bioresources of the Himalayan region into bioeconomy of the nation. Through its cutting-edge research, the Institute has developed many new varieties of tea. Novel techniques of floriculture developed by the Institute have generated employment opportunities for the locals. Now, working towards self-sufficiency of India in aromatic products and commodities, the Institute has developed not only the agro-technology to cultivate wild marigold crop, but also the processing technology to extract its essential oil. Such technologies have increased the income of the farmers by many fold. We gave them one aromatic crop known as Tregetus minuta or wild marigold. Important thing about this crop was no monkey comes and destroys that crop, no wild boar disturbs, no nil guy. Absolutely, this crop nobody wants to touch this crop. And today, with our effort, all farmers they you know work with us very closely, and for today. Uh, last time, I think last year, uh, Himachal produced around 7 tons approximately of this oil. And this oil was um, sold at the rate of around 7,000 to 8,000 rupees per litre. And farmer who was not getting anything from the land, he started getting minimum 1 lakh rupees per hectare. Through their continuous efforts, IHBT scientists have improved production prospects in high altitude regions, thereby encouraging entrepreneurship in several challenging areas. In the northern region of the country, tea production was started in Palampur, and IHBT played an important role in producing different varieties of tea with better quality and production value. The recent achievements of IHBT include cultivation of saffron outside Jammu and Kashmir. The institute has developed indigenous technology to produce good quality saffron combs using imported seeds. This technology was made available to the farmers and farmers were trained to grow this highly profitable crop. One of the greatest endeavor of the institute is the introduction of Asafetida cultivation in the country. Asafetida cultivation has now been started in Lahol Spiti of Himachal Pradesh. IHBT also plays an active role in disseminating the better technologies to the farmers. We realize that in places like Afghanistan, uh, people are, uh, you know, making a lot of money by growing hing or esophotida. With the help of agriculture department, uh, we signed MOU and we did first plantation in Quaring village in uh, district Lahol and on 15th October 2020. So this is yet another inter intervention that IHBT is doing to improve the livelihood. Uh, of the people. Apart from that, we have other plans like floriculture, mission we will be launching very soon and things of that stuff. The institute is working not only to enhance the productivity of high value crops, but also to promote the industry relating to these crops. To realize this goal, several technologies developed by the institute have been transferred to the industries. The Institute also organizes regular training programs for socio-economic upliftment. Advisory services are also rendered to farmers, floriculturists, tea planters and small entrepreneurs involved in food processing sector. Through such efforts, IHBT is transforming the lives of the people.